Hey guys, Mr. Campos here. I just wanted to leave you a little message because I'm sure you've heard or you will hear by now uh, that school has been basically, um, we're, not, we're not going back to the building. We're not going back to the building. Uh, the building's been closed because of the Dallas ordinance extending everything till May, um, which means that you know we're not gonna go back to school to the actual building. Uh, we're still going to have school, right? You're still going to be in school. Uh, it's just all going to be that online learning that you've been doing so far, which I know kind of sucks, right? I know I know it's not exactly like school. Um, so lots of emotions right now, right? Uh, you're pissed. Um, I'm mad. I'm sure you're mad. Um, definitely sad. Definitely sad. Definitely sad that I'm not going to be able to see you guys uh, back in the building. Um, that's probably what hurts me the most, um, that I know I'm not going to see you guys uh, at the, the end of this year. Um, I, it's not that I won't see you ever, <laughs> right? It's just now, right now, it's, it's, you know, it's probably not going to happen. Um, well, at least not till not for me. Um, and I know you're probably wondering, like, you know, what, what's going on? <clears throat> what's you know what's happening with uh um with all this stuff with graduation with prom and i know that at least now that we know okay school uh won't be reopened for this year now we can at least go and i'm sure the powers that be up there are going to recalibrate and recalculate and kind of figure out what that is and what and what's going to be, um, you know, how they're going to figure all, all that out. Um, and I and I and I totally understand your emotions in the sense that you, you know, you're feeling sad and upset. And. And there's a lot of, you know, those emotions and then you have a lot of emotions where you're just like, man, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be stuck at home <laughs> all this time and. And how that's going to take. And there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot going on right now. Um, but I, but I, I, I hope that what I'm about to tell you um, helps kind of refocus the conversation. Okay. And, and here's, and here's. And here's what I want you to kind of, and I, and I hope, and I hope you can, we can at least try to come find some comfort in what I'm about to tell you. Um, you are so important, okay, that the governor and your superintendent have basically decided to keep you safe. We need to keep you at home. And you are so important and you're so valuable that in order to maintain your health and your well-being, you need to be at home as much as possible. That's how important you are. That's how valuable you are. That's how important I am. That's how important my kids are. That's how important everybody that can stay home is. And for those of you that have to go out and you have to work and your parents that have to go out and, you know, obviously take care of everything that's going on. It's they are so important that we have to stay home as much as possible for their safety. You see, like everything that's happening right now is, and all the decisions that are being made are being made for the best interests of you and me and everybody involved. Because that's how important people are. Like people are so important You are so important. I'm so important. We're all so important that these drastic measures and and decisions are being made 
to protect you and to protect me. And if you, if you, if, and again, this is an invitation to you to look at it that way. <clears throat> because when you look at it that way, I hope that you understand the why. The why this is happening. Or the why as to why this, these decisions are being made. Now, why is this happening? Why is everything going on? You know, why is, why is all this stuff happening around us? It's human behavior. It's people. It's people that are doing this. Okay? I mean, people are, are getting checked out. People, there's doctors and nurses that are putting their lives on the line to, to, to help other people that are sick. But ultimately, it's human behavior that continues this process and continues everything you know, from spreading, which is why it's so important that we keep our butts home, okay, as much as possible to stop that spread and to help and to keep us safe and to keep you safe. And like I said, for those of you that have to work or that have to provide or your parents or whatever, you know, there are also human behaviors that they can do like hand washing and taking showers and making sure to not touch their faces and when they come inside to wipe everything down and wipe themselves down and to constantly wipe the house down. Like that's also human behavior that we can all do. And to protect ourselves, to protect our families. Okay? But but I really hope that you understand. And I really, 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 really hope that you take this into consideration. That you, you are so valuable. You are so important. You are so so incredibly worth it to keep you alive and to keep you safe that these decisions are being made okay that's how that's how valuable you are that's how important you are and hopefully when you see this and when you understand this and hopefully if you if you accept that you are enough you are so so important that this situation will take a different light will 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 come out differently and understand that I miss you guys a lot and I know your teachers miss you. I know they do. And this is an opportunity for all of us to be and to come in and become better people than we were. Because we used to not even think about washing our hands. <laughs> So, and I know some of y'all didn't wash your hands. I know some of y'all didn't. When you, I know. <laughs> but we used to take hand washing as eh, not a big deal. But now it's 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 essential. It's 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 important. Like we have to wash our hands. And you know, going outside. You know, how many of you didn't even want to go outside because you know, just I don't want to be outside. And now it's like, man, you know. I wish you could just go out and be somewhere and, and do stuff. Like, this has completely changed the way we look at, at, at everything. I mean, we're, we're, we're just, we're not going to be the same people that we were. And that's not a bad thing. If we learn, if we learn and we start to just appreciate and feel gratitude for the smallest things, the tiniest things, you know, if you got to feel, if you got to get a snack today, enjoy that snack, enjoy that snack, love that snack, be in the moment with that little snack, if, if you happen to have had, you know, a really good texting back and forth with a friend of yours, or you played a really awesome game, Really enjoy that game. Really, really start to appreciate whatever it is that you have. And I know some of you are, are not in good positions. And I know some of you are struggling. I know that. I know some of you are struggling. 
and it's hard to see the good in this, and it's hard to see the light in this. Okay, I know that. I still want you to understand and hopefully accept that you are so valuable that even in the hardest of times that you're dealing with, that you're feet that you're fighting and that you're dealing with right now, you are still worth protecting and worth loving and worth being cared for. Which is why all these decisions are being made to take care of you in the best way possible. So, I love you guys. I, I miss you so much. I really, really miss you guys so much. It, it breaks my heart. But I love you guys. And I care about you guys. And I want you to apply everything that I taught you. Situational awareness, all of it. And I want you to understand that you are enough to get out of the situation. You are enough to get out of all the situation that we're going through. Everything that we're going through. You have it within you to rise up and to be better than we were, than you were, than I was. And when we apply gratitude, when we apply a sense of appreciation for everything, you know, every little thing, even the tiniest things, just appreciate and and feel grateful for everything that we have right now. Instead of focusing on what we don't have, let's try to focus on what we do have. That's going to help us ride this out because... This is 100% a mental game that we're going to be fighting. And if we can focus on keeping ourselves locked in on not the positive, but on the human side to this, to this story. Focus on the humanity. Focus on being a good human, a, the best human you can be. On gratitude, on, on, on just trying to share positive, not positivity, but, but goodness, just humanity and connection and, and warmth and caring and kindness. If we can focus on that and taking care of yourself, making sure you're washing your hands, making sure you're doing what you need to do, that, that's, that's going to make a huge difference. That's going to make a huge difference. And it's going to help us through this next phase. And guess what? You're still going to graduate, guys. You guys are still going to graduate. You guys are still going to have a prom. We don't know when that's going to be, right? We don't know when. But, but I promise you, it will happen. Okay? So, again, I love you guys so much. I miss you all terribly. Terribly, terribly, terribly. But I know we will get through this. I know we will get through this with a complete sense of gratitude for every little thing that we have every single day. Just appreciate everything. When your parents come home from work, appreciate them. You know, make sure they wash their hands and take a shower and decontaminate, (laughs) right? Make sure they do all that. And then, (laughs) then you can appreciate them, right? Appreciate everything. Just let's let's focus on that. Okay? And 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 that I really feel strongly is gonna help us get through this. Okay? So Senior Twenty, class of twenty, man. <laughs> class of twenty. Class of twenty twenty. The year we'll never forget. We'll never forget this year ever. We will never forget this year. <clears throat> but again, focus on the humanity. Focus on the humanity. Focus on the humanity in the situation. And we will get through this. We will. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. 
Wash your hands. Do what you need to do, okay, to take care of you, take care of your family. Wipe everything down. Wash your hands. Use, you know, I put the video in Google Classroom about how to proper hand washing. Take care of you. Love you guys. You guys, we'll, we'll, make, we'll, we'll make it through this. I promise. I know we will. All right? Take care. Love you guys.